Okay, now we're going to talk about rounding. And rounding is something you've done before, and you should already know that rounding a number is the process of approximating the number by using a simpler number. And the rules for rounding are fairly simple. And we'll go over them just briefly as a, a quick review and do a few examples. And then we'll look at how to round when we have repeating decimals, because it can get a little bit tricky there. So first, some simple examples. We're told to round 6,182 to the nearest 10. Well, the 8 is the digit in the tens place. So we look at the next digit, and if it's 5 or higher, we round the 8 up. And the next digit is not, so we round, we, we don't change the 8. This just gets rounded to 6,180. And that's that number to the nearest 10. Round 6,182 to the nearest 100. Well, the hundreds place is the one, so we look at the next place. That is five or above, so we round the one up. So this is 6,200. And what this means is that 6,200 is the nearest hundred. The original number is closer to 6,200 than it is to 6,100, or to 6,300, or to 6,400, or to any other hundred. 6,200 is the nearest hundred. And we're told to round 6,182 to the nearest thousand. Well, the thousands place is the six. So we look at the next digit. It's not five or above, so we don't round the six up. The nearest thousand is 6,000. And of course, you can see this number is closer to 6,000 than it is to 7,000 or to any other thousand. Here's another example round 2.8154 to the nearest tenth. Well, the tenth is the first digit after the decimal. We want to round to that place. So we look at the next place, and we see that we don't round the 8 up. So the answer is just 2.8. And round it to the nearest hundredth. Well, we look at the next digit. The next digit is 5 or higher, so we round this 1 up, and it becomes 2.82 and to the nearest thousandth. Well, the thousandth is the third place, so we look at the next digit. It's not five or higher, so the five there doesn't get rounded up, and the answer is 2.815. All right, now we'll look at a repeating decimal. Round 0.3 repeating to the nearest tenth. Well, we follow the rules for rounding. We just need to remember that 0.3 repeating is 0.333333, even though all those digits aren't shown right here. So when we're told to round to the nearest tenth, well, this is the tenth place right, right here, the first digit after the decimal. So we need to look at the next digit. And the next digit, of course, will be a three, because these threes go on forever. And so we look at the next digit. It's not five or higher, so we don't round that up. So to the nearest tenth, the answer is just 0.3. And to the nearest hundredth, that's this second digit after the decimal, well, if we're going to round to the nearest hundredth, we look at the, the digit after that. And it's not 5 or higher, of course, because all these digits are 3, so we don't round up. This is just 0.33. And to the nearest thousandth, that's three places. The next digit, of course, is not 5 or higher, so we don't round up. It's 0.333. Now this one's a little bit different because the digits are 5 or higher. This 0.6 repeating, remember, is 0.66666, and the 6's go on forever. So if we're told to round to the nearest tenth, that's the first digit after the decimal. So we look at the next digit, and it's 5 or higher. So this tenth place gets rounded up, and the answer is 0.7. If we're told to round to the nearest hundredth, well, that's two digits after the decimal, so we have to look at the next one. And that next digit is five or higher, so this one gets rounded up. So instead of 0.66, it's 0.67. We round that one up because the one after it was above a five. And to the nearest thousandth, that means three places, so we have to look at the next digit. This digit is 5 or higher, so the one right before it gets rounded up. The answer is 0.667. And here's another. 
round 4.715 repeating to the nearest tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Well, in the 4.715 repeating, this is 4.715555 and so on. It's the five and only the five that repeats. So rounding to the nearest tenth, that's this digit, the first one after the decimal. So we look at the next one. It's not five or higher, so we just leave the seven alone and we round it as 4.7 as our answer. To the nearest hundredth, that's this second digit, so we have to look at the one after that, and that is five or, or higher. So this one gets rounded up. So it becomes a 4.72. And to the nearest thousandth, that's the third digit here. Well, we have to look at the next one. So let, let's look over here. The next one, of course, is going to be a five, because it's all fives after that. So instead of 4.715, this five gets rounded up, because the, the digit after it is 5 or above. So this becomes 4.716. And as a general rule, if you're trying to round a repeating decimal, and it's a little bit tricky, writing it out will usually help.